Thunder is the sound caused by lightning. The study of thunder is known as brontology. Depending on the distance from and nature of the lightning, it can range from a sharp, loud crack to a long, low rumble, also known as brontide. The current consensus is that thunder must begin with a shockwave in the air due to the sudden thermal expansion of the plasma in the lightning channel. The temperature inside the lightning channel rises sharply from approximately 20,000 Kelvin to 30,000 Kelvin, then dropping away gradually to about 10,000 Kelvin. This heating causes a rapid outward expansion, impacting the surrounding cooler air at a speed faster than sound would otherwise travel. The resulting outward moving pulse is a shockwave, similar in principle to the shockwave formed by an explosion. In close proximity to the source, the sound pressure level of thunder is usually between 165 and 180 decibels, but can exceed 200 decibels in some cases. Experimental studies of simulated lightning have produced results largely consistent with this model, though there is continued debate about the precise physical mechanisms of thunder. The most noticeable aspect of lightning and thunder is that the lightning is seen before the thunder is heard. This is a consequence of the speed of light being much greater than the speed of sound. The speed of sound is approximately 1,236 kilometers per hour, which translates to three seconds per kilometer. When you see lightning, count the seconds until you hear the thunder. Divide that number by three, and that will give you the approximate number of kilometers away you are from the lightning. A very bright flash of lightning and an almost simultaneous sharp crack of thunder indicates that the lightning strike was very near. Close-in lightning has been described as a clicking or cloth tearing sound at first, then a cannon shot sound, followed by continuous rumbling. The shock wave in thunder is sufficient to cause property damage and injury to individuals that are nearby. Thunder has been known to cause temporary deafness and to rupture the eardrums, which leads to permanently impaired hearing.